The most detailed 3D map of the Milky Way has been unveiled, which could reveal fresh light on the galaxy and the universe beyond. The European Space Agency's Gaia Observatory has been looking at the universe since 2013. Astronomers can now measure the acceleration of the solar system and calculate the mass of the galaxy from fresh detail. The information will fill in some unknown gaps in our knowledge of what is up there. For more on this, I'm joined by Professor Gunter Harsinger, the Director of Science at the European Space Agency in Spain. Thanks so much for speaking with us. How do you go about you plotting mean? all these 1.8 billion different stars and getting them into a 3D map? So, you know, the Gaia spacecraft is circling around the sky continuously, <clears throat> and it is doing many, many, many uh, passes over the sky, um, and it's me measuring the position and the light, uh, brightness of the stars. And with this, it creates an extremely accurate reference frame, uh, which is uh, basically transmitted down to Earth um, through radio signals, and then we put them together on the computer. And what is it that the astronomers, the scientists, everybody else is hoping to learn from all of this data that we've now got? So what we are learning is basically the history of our Milky Way. We are drilling back into the history of time, more or less uh, like the archaeologists are drilling, but many, many billion years uh, I mean, before even the sun was born. So we can say something about the fate of the Milky Way when it was very young and, and also can predict what will happen in the future. And is this map primarily for scientists, for people who are studying the night sky, or is this something that any of us who is interested in space can get into? And if so, how, how easy is it to see all of this data and to see the map? Yes, it is actually for scientists, but also for the general public, for the interested public. We have a lot of projects that are also connected to citizen science. Uh, we are asking people to look at the data, for instance, to discover asteroids and other things. But this, this is really it coming out as a splash. It's, it's open to the whole world. And we already have seen many tens of thousands of downloads across the whole um, globe. It, it does seem that recently we've had a whole spurt of news to do with space. We've got the Chinese mission to the moon, we've got the UAE, we've got so many different things that are happening, SpaceX. Do you think that this is really a golden age now of trying to increase our knowledge of what's going on in the universe? I think first these news that you have uh, referred to are also showing that space is actually getting much more common. It's getting to be a commodity Many, many more, as you say, countries are interested in going to space. Uh, I think the space science that we are mainly interested in is kind of the tip of the iceberg. It's the um, excitement and the um, ignition of the thoughts of the people that brings them into space. But nowadays, space is much more, I mean, also uh, basically dominating our daily life. We wouldn't be able to live without the satellites out there anymore.